Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, one of the newer ones from Commodity, one of their platinum collections, Bergamot. I've been wearing this for a few months now and I'm ready to let you know what I think. So if you'd like to know about this fragrance, then keep watching. <laughs> Let's start off with the notes. The top notes are clementine, mandarin, and of course, bergamot. The base notes are mint, jasmine, and geranium, and the base notes are violet leaf, musk, patchouli, and vetiver. Um, and this is a beautiful concoction of a lot of different ingredients that come together to create a fragrance that really sings one note, which is a very substantial bergamot fragrance. I am just going to remind myself of the opening notes by spritzing on this very very unofficial strip um i have run out of tester strips so i'm just kind of using whatever i got this is marketed as a unisex fragrance the other fragrances in the platinum line i believe is oris vetiver leather and i think they have one more these were all released in 2017. now the opening of this is very green and somewhat aquatic um, I get a lot of depth from the vetiver and the musk, which is apparent right off the bat. But the first thing that you get from this is definitely the bergamot, and then you get a nice mix of the clementine and the mandarin, which really help kind of juice this up and sweeten this up a bit. So, and then as it warms up, you guys, on my skin, I don't get it nearly as much as I do on a strip, but a lot more mint comes to the party. I get a touch of mint on my skin after it's dried down after about 20 to 30 minutes, but on the strip, it's like immediate. After the initial hit of musk and vetiver and the bergamot and then the other citrus, um, the mint kind of like comes in and then it's pretty... um pretty easy to spot or smell. But let's just talk about um, how I like this fragrance, its longevity, sillage, and if it's worth the price tag. I believe it's $130 for 100 ml. Generally, overall, I really enjoy this fragrance. It's been one of my fragrances to reach for this spring. Specifically, I think I'm going to be reaching for this more in the summer. I live in a very soupy, muggy, humid climate, and I love bergamot. It's one of my favorite citruses, just in general, to drink in my tea and to wear on my skin. I just really love it specifically as a fragrance in this climate. Now this fragrance specifically, um, I will say it has a wonderful wealth of ingredients and they pretty much smell amazing when they come together, but it doesn't have much of a scent story. Initially on my skin, I get a blast of the opening notes and then I get a lot of the base notes, again, the vetiver and the musk. After it's warmed up on my skin and I've been wearing it for about an hour, I get a little bit more of the patchouli, a little bit more of the violet and the mint and the jasmine. Um, so, but it's still rounds it out a little bit and makes it a little bit more complex but I still get heavy on the opening citrus which is really really nice. The sillage on this is pretty decent. It's about arm's length when I give myself about through um, two to four spritzes. I tend not to over spray citrus scents because they can get a little bit too um, heavy and a little bit too um, thick in my area, except for the Atelier Cologne Citrus Scents. I can practically bathe in those. I usually do about six to ten spritzes when I wear those just because I love the way that they sit on my skin and smell and I can really like overspray with those. The Commodity Scents I can't overspray with. They do sit a little bit heavy and they can get a little bit stifling if I do more than four to six spritzes. So with Siage with this at about two to four, it is about a medium Siage. Um, again, it doesn't have much of a scent story. It tends to bring up more of the base and more of the mint jasmine notes as it's warmed up and dried down on my skin. But generally, it doesn't kind of evolve. It kind of stays this kind of like juicy, citrusy, bright fragrance that has a little bit of complexity, again, from the vetiver and the musk. There is one downfall to this fragrance, and that is its longevity. This does not seem to perform nearly as long as other fragrances. I get, if I spritz four times, about two and a half to three hours. Now again, remember my environment where I live, but this is me spritzing two spritzes on my on my body and then one spritz on my clothes. Normally, if I spritz any other fragrances like that, I would hope to get at least four to six hours. 
this is two and a half to three. Now, if I go a little bit heavier, I can get three to four hours. But again, it gets a little bit too heavy on my skin and it kind of chokes me a little bit. And I'm pretty, pretty sturdy and pretty accustomed to wearing a lot of perfumes and heavy perfumes. I'm an oversprayer. So if a fragrance even bothers me, I can only imagine how it would bother my husband or my mother-in-law or people I might be standing next to. So I tend not to overspray these fragrances. So I would say the way that I apply these fragrances, which is about, you know, like two to four, I get, again, about two and a half to three hours of wear time. So that's really the only negative thing I have to say about this fragrance is its longevity. Um, again, it could be different on other people's skins, but also with citrus fragrances, I've noticed they tend to not perform the best unless they have something else going for them. Um, and this one just tends to just perform lackluster. Now I don't feel bad about buying this. I do really like this fragrance and I have been reaching for it a bit, but I will be definitely reaching for this a lot more in the summer. Um, and it is a beautiful bergamot fragrance. It smells just really juicy and luscious and bright and it's very refreshing. And again, you can thank the mint, the bergamot, and the vetiver for that. I don't get much patchouli in this, but I can definitely see how that probably rounds everything out. Patchouli is one of those notes that I always get on my skin. It come, becomes very predominant. And so the fact that I don't pick up much of any in this fragrance kind of surprised me in the beginning. But it's okay, because I think it might overpower it too much. I would say that if you want a really good fragrance that lasts just as long if not longer and isn't as stifling and you um then this fragrance heavy wise try bergamot soleil from atelier cologne i absolutely love that fragrance too it's a little bit easier to overspray if you like to bathe in your fragrances but otherwise this is a really good fragrance i do really enjoy this i just wish it lasted longer on my skin so generally, overall, if I were to give this a grade, I'd give this a B plus. Um, it would be an A if it performed better, but I do think it's a beautiful bergamot fragrance. It's very fresh, it's very bright, and I think this would be really appropriate for these spring or summer months. Um, and generally, if you like citrus fragr fragrances and you like bergamot fragrances, I think this would be a wonderful one to add to your collection. But again, do keep the longevity in mind. It doesn't perform as well as even other commodity fragrances, because I've worn book, I've worn mimosa, I've worn whiskey, I've worn musk, I own gold and rain, I've worn a lot of other commodity fragrances, and they tend to get four to six hours on my skin. So this performs less on my skin than other commodity fragrances. And again, it's a different fragrance. It's got different ingredients. But I am judging this based on other commodity fragrances. Um, and again, Atelier Cologne lasts about as long on my skin as this does with the same amount of sprays. But I can bathe in Atelier Cologne and it doesn't kind of get too heavy and almost like a fog. It just kind of has a nice aura and it's really pleasant to just overspray yourself with. This gets a little bit too heavy and again that's probably from the musk and the vetiver. Sometimes it, too much is just too much for me. But generally, overall, I do really enjoy this fragrance, and I think if you guys are looking again for a really nice bright citrus fragrance to add to your collection or for summer, definitely at least go sample it. I think you can find them in most Sephora's. I think it's pretty easy to get your nose on. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you like my fragrance reviews and my fragrance videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.